Hello and welcome to Hawks on the Wire. I am your host, Joan, and soon I will be introducing our guest, but first I want to say that we only expect our guests to share what they are comfortable sharing. Also, we want to make this a safe environment for our guests. We do not judge in any way. It is our goal to share as many experiences and as many different perspectives as we can so we can all learn. We are all so appreciative of our guests and that they are willing to share. And with that said, I want to welcome back Kathy Mattingly. She has been on our audio cast before, and she is here today to help us out again. Kathy, would you like to say a little bit about yourself? Sure. Hi, I'm Kathy Mattingly. I am 65 years old. And I'm married to a wonderful man, and I have two children and six wonderful grandchildren. And I'm going to talk about donating a kidney. And how this came about, about, I have, I had a really, really good friend, and we used to walk every day. And she was telling me that her husband had a kidney problem. Little did I know then where this would lead. And, uh, but she has passed away. And my friend has remarried and is living a very happy life. But I've known for about 11 years that he had this kidney problem. About probably in my 20s, I signed the back of my license to donate a kidney. I mean, donate an organ, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And um, so I always, as I got older, I would tell God in my prayers, you know, if you don't take uh, take me soon, they're all going to be wore out. <laughs> I'm kidding with God. So anyway, um, I knew my friend Ronnie, was his name, was his kidney was worsening because he and his his wife now I walk with, and uh, she was saying that he was, you know, letting me know, and I walk with Ronnie some too. And uh, we're extremely good friends. And I uh, kept up with his condition. And over the years, it had gotten less and less. And so, anyway, they told me that he was going on the donor list. And uh, he's got a bunch of brothers and sisters. And uh, they were all signing up to be tested. And I said, well, sign me up, too. And his wife was signed up, and really I didn't think it would be me because I figured one of his brothers or sisters would be more likely to do it than me, mm -hmm. and they kept getting knocked off one at a time for one reason or another, and I started going, uh-oh, this is beginning to look scary. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I was tested, and uh, it takes a, almost probably six months to a year to do all the tests, to be the one chosen, and lucky me, I won. Couldn't win the lotto, but I won. <laughs> and it is scary. It's a real scary thing to do. Somebody told me, gosh, you're really brave, and brave really doesn't have anything to do with it. I really love this man as a friend, and we've been through a lot together. And so, anyway, I... On December the 5th, 2019, we went through the surgery. Uh, they say it's harder on the person that's given the kidney than the person that's getting the kidney. But I mean, after the first two weeks, I have I, I can't tell I even did, did it. Uh, I feel great. He's doing great. Now, he has to... Uh, it's, be quarantined pretty much. Uh, he has to, uh, his, uh, he's subject to get, to catch everything. Uh, yes. Really quick. His, immune for, uh, his immune uh, system. His immune system. His immune, mm -hmm. his immune system is weak. But he's had checkups. He's already off a whole lot of his medicine and he's doing great. I recommend it to anybody that if you think about doing it, do it because it's such a giving thing. And I'm fine, and I'm supposed to be fine forever. Well, that so, that is a wonderful story, beautiful lady. You uh, 
you were talking about, you said that it was supposed to be harder on the giver of the kidney than the person receiving the kidney. Did you mean physically? Yes, physically. It's, it's a, I think maybe the, like after the surgery, uh, it's kind of painful. Mm -hmm. And I think the, you know, the initial, now I have to be checked, I think every six months for two years, but I'm, I'm doing great. And I'm not a picture, I mean, uh, well, I am in good health, but I mean, I don't eat a great diet. I eat a pretty good diet. I'm not the normal person. Okay. I, mean, I, I, uh, I do walk, I do get exercise, but uh, don't think you have to be the picture of health. I mean, I knocked out people I couldn't believe I knocked out, so yes. me to do it. So uh, if you if you want to do it, uh, try. I mean, it's the best gift you can give. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have even told me it's a, a free trip to heaven. And my answer to that was, I don't see people in line to do it, so I don't really believe that. <laughs> well, when you said it was scary, how did you overcome those scary feelings? I just put it in God's hands. Mm -hmm. I, it, I mean, you know, like I said, there was probably about 10 of us that, that, that uh, signed up to do it. And I just said, you know, I... I'm going to put this in God's hands, and if I'm the one, I'm the one. And yes. I, I just put a rock over it. When I got scared, I just didn't think about it. I, you know, I just kept saying to God it was in his hands. Yes. And and, I, and like I said, after the first two weeks, I'm, I've been fine ever since. The only thing I couldn't do was I couldn't pick up, like, 10 pounds of weight, uh, for, I think it was six weeks, maybe a little bit longer, but I, it hasn't been six months yet, so I'm married to a farmer, so when he wants me to help come out the farm, I can say, you know, I better not lift that yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, that's, that's my ex in my back <laughs> Good for you, beautiful lady. Well, that is just a wonderful story. You have a, such a generous spirit, Kathy, and I just... I just really appreciate you sharing your story with us today. Uh, do you have anything else you would like to tell our listeners? Or? No, I just I think this is a great program. This is why I'm doing this or speaking on it. If it can help anybody in any way, then I'm blessed by being able to share it. Yes, to help people understand they could choose to be a donor. Absolutely. Okay. Well, thank you so much. And You're I just want to... Uh, thank you for doing this program. Well, thank you, beautiful lady. And we want to tell all our Hawks on the Wire listeners, it is our hope that this has helped you in some way, big or small. And remember, when you hear a Hawks call, do what we do. Stop and think of someone you know and send them some love.